Hey guys, Bonzi Chun here, back with another episode of Unpacked. And to get the first thing out of the way, we're going to do today's TCGO code winners for last week's Unpacked. And we have no comments. So we are resetting Unpacked, so there will be two winners every week. Each person, each winner is going to get one code card, e one code each. All you got to do is comment on the video. I put a question up at the end of the at the end of the at the end of the news for you guys. Just comment. Just put a comment. I don't even care if you answer the question. Just put a comment, guys. It's free codes. Come on, you guys know you want free codes. Also, really helps out the channel too. If you guys comment on the videos, it helps us it helps us get out there. So just please comment on the videos. It really does help us out a lot. It throws a like or a dislike. You know, just interact with the page when you guys watch the videos, please. It really does help us out a lot. Next, so we're gonna get done packed. I was lazy this week, and I'm exhausted and tired still from regionals. I don't know why, but it's the following Saturday morning. It's April first. It's about 6:30 a.m., and I am still just tired as. Mm. So I am just gonna do this free ball, and I have looked at everything, so we're just gonna go over the noble things. We're gonna start here on Saturday because this is where I cut off. So first thing we're gonna start off with here is. Uh, Guardians Rising Pro Tins. We have two tins here, one with Tapu Koko and one with Tapu Bulu. Uh, these will have Tapu Koko and Tapu Bulu probably in alternate arts in tins with um, packs. Yeah, guys. So if you don't pull Tapu Koko or Tapu Bulu and you want them, just go ahead and pick up these tins. I mean, tins are cool. I like actually like I like tins a lot. I buy more tins and Elite Trainer boxes than anything else just because I feel like they're the most worth out of out of other than just buying straight up packs. But yeah, so we have Tapu Bulu and Tapu Coco. They're both getting they're both getting tins, guys. So if you want any of these two cards, go ahead. I'll definitely be picking these up for the channel. I love tins. Uh, next up, we have Mega Sharpedo and Mega Camera full cards revealed in full. Um, so right here, you guys go look at them. So we'll talk about them real quick. Mega Camera, 230 HP Fire type, weight to water with a retreat cost of four. This is already not looking good. Uh, for four energy, two which are fire and two are colorless. Magma eruption for 120 plus. You may discard the top three cards of each player's deck. If you do this, this deck does 40 more damage for each energy card you discard in this way. Now, do I think this card is good? No. But do I think this card is fun? Yes. This is very reminiscent of a, the, the Typhlosion deck, where you mill the top five cards of your deck. You're milling both players, so you know. Also, it probably is going to hurt your opponent more if they discard energy. So. But well, then again, with all the amount of decks running around that run really low energy and standard, I'm thinking like Mega Gardevoir. I'm thinking actually that's about it. There's uh, Volcano runs a lot of energy. Mewtwo runs a lot of energy. Dark Cry runs a lot of energy. Okay, so this card could be good. Not great, but good. Definitely worth picking up. Maybe. Yeah, I could admit. You know what, I'll probably, once this comes out, I'll probably try to pick up some of those codes and make that work. I, this this might be fun. And then we have Mega Sharp PEX, 210 HP, Dark Type, Weak Lightning, which is good. And it has no retreat, which is really awesome for a Mega. It has no retreat cost, guys. Alright, let's look at this attack for two Dark and a Colorless. Torpedo Die for 120 damage. This attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon for each... For each energy in that Pokemon's retreat costs. Don't apply weakness and resistance for a bench Pokemon. Now that's pretty cool. 120 after 3 energy is kind of meh. We don't really have a way of accelerating this other than Mega Turbo. But doing 10 extra damage to each Pokemon on your bench for each energy in their retreat cost is pretty nice. I mean most Megas usually have at least a 2 energy retreat. Most Basics you like shaman has one retreat, so that would be like an extra 10 damage on a shaman on a hoopa That'd be an extra three and three damage on a hoopa on a volcanian That'd be an extra three damage on the bench, you know, it has some potential But I don't know if, what you would use to support this I don't think it's good enough to be a standalone card even though for 120 you're basically two shotting anything and also throwing Swashing some damage on the bench. I'm just not sure what would go with this to make it good or a viable at least a viable deck but it's definitely an interesting card. I definitely do like it. I like interesting cards, that, even though they're not necessarily good. I still like them just because I interesting cards always have a place because they could always become a rogue deck. Interesting cards are, are create rogue decks. But moving on, guys. 
So that was our Mega Shark Pedo Omega camera. By the way, guys, I get all my news sources from Poke Beach pretty much. I also do some stuff off of Reddit. But if so, I will link the Poke Beach's website, guys. It's a great new way to get your news. Uh, Tapu Coco figure collection product images. Yeah, so these are like kind of similar to those figure collection boxes that we've that we've gotten before. It comes with a figure, four packs. Looks like you're gonna get two Guardians Rising, a Sun and Moon, and a Fates Collide, which is Fates Collide's kind of weird because it's kind of an older set. But I I imagine that's probably the last set that will survive rotation. And you get this new Tapu Koko card. So let's take a look at that right here. So basic lightning type, 110 HP, weak to fighting, and it has a metal resistance and no retreat. So that's all right. Uh, fighting's an okay type to be weak to because fighting's not really prevalent right now, with the exception of Passimian and Standard and Expanded. And the people have been trying to get things like Machamp and Zygarde to work, but nothing's really stuck. First attack, Flying Flip for a double colorless. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resist for bench Pokemon. First single energy attachment, that's pretty good. I'm not complaining about it. Uh, don't, doing 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon is fine. Not great, it's fine. And then Electric Ball for two lightning and colorless is 100 damage. Which is meh. I mean, you're, that's almost two shining things, but you know. I think you could actually, with Electrode, you could make this work. It is a basic, so things like Max Luxor do work. Um, in Expanded, you have Eels. Don't know why you play this over Raikou, though. Don't really see how good this card is. So if you're buying this box, you're pretty much buying it for the figure. Really, that's really what you're buying it for. If you buy this box, you're buying it for the figure. Uh, next up, we got... Aha! Guardians Rising pre-release promos have been announced. As far as play a bit... As far as which one you want from a competitive standpoint, me and Lone Asian actually talked about this last night when we was over at my house. We could not figure out which one we wanted because they're all kind of meh. I mean, with Sun and Moon Base, three of the four promos were actually good. You had Basimian, Oranguru, and Shinodic, all three of which were amazing, which are amazing cards. These cards are just kind of meh. Either the A they have too much energy attachments, or B they just don't really do anything. Like Orikoro, the first energy, the first tech supernatural dance is good, but you, you're in in a pre-release you're playing with a 40 card deck, which actually could not be, which actually would not be bad because usually it's about 15 of them are, are are Pokemon, but at the same time, that's gonna be a really late game, so I'm, it would have it would it depend. And also, usually there's very few people. Usually, if you pull a GX or EX, usually you, you you're doing well in the tournament. Um. These are all cards we've talked about before. As far as which one I want, I would have to wait to see the new the alternate artworks for me to decide which one I want. I am a fan of Alone Sand Slash, as for so as far as my own personal collection, I would want Alone Sand Slash. Moving on, we have Shiny Tapu Koko GX box in July. Uh, new Shiny Top will be released will release on July 14th in Europe, which usually means we get that about around the same time, usually within a couple days. It'll come with a foil for promo of a shiny Tapu Koko, which would be this. So here's the shiny version, here's the regular version. So you get a little bit more purple. Eh, go away, guys. Okay. In Japan, blah, 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 blah. It will, you will have a shiny Tapu Koko figurine, no, so no jumbo card, which... Depending upon if you like figurines or jumbo cards, I kind of don't like either one. I like pins. I'm a pin guy. So, yeah, no one's really sure if we'll get a jumbo or a figure. It depends on what Europe gets. So, we'll, it's still a long ways out, guys, so we'll wait and see on that one. Um, new Espeon, GX, Espeon and Umbreon GX promos. Uh, uh, premium collections in July, so these are the Espeon and uh, Umbreon that we got in Sun and Moon Base. You guys know what those guys do by now. And it will be America and Europe on July 14th. Each collection will feature an Espeon Umbreon as a jumbo card, a pin, and a coin. Both collections will also include regular size foil promos of Espeon and Umbreon GX and Eevee. They also include six booster packs and TCGO cards, so you'll be getting six packs. A promo of a promo of whichever one you buy, an EV, a pin, 
and a, a coin. So those usually run, well, that will probably run us around the, I guess, the 30, 35 mark. Because if you get in six packs, that's four times six, 24 plus the promo. Yeah, probably about 30, $35 range, I'm guessing, maybe $40 range retail. So keep a lookout for those guys in July. Still about two, three months out. Uh, the first not new news thing, that's not product news, is um, Sun and Moon th 3 Plus is Shining Legends has been announced. It will be released on July 15th, and as you can tell, it will feature Shiny Mew GX, maybe Mew 2, maybe Pikachu GXs. Um, this is a mini set, 72 cards, excluding the secret rares. Each booster box will come with six cards, one with the cards being a hollow. Blah, 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 blah. So, this is all dummy, work, dummy artwork, guys. So, don't worry about it too much. I'm sure we'll get more information probably at the end of end of May, early June, as to what actually comes in that set. That's because our Guardians Rising hasn't even came out yet. Um, best of X and Y news. I talked about this already, guys, yesterday or Thursday. So, check out that video about my opinions on this. It's for a little bit longer video. It's about 13 minutes, so go watch that. I covered everything you would want to know in that. All right, so now we got Tapu Lele from SMN2 Plus, which is would be part of our Sun and Moon 3, our third Sun and Moon set. Tapu Lele, Psychic type, 110 HP, basic, weak to Psychic, no resistance as retreat cost of one. For single Psychic Energy, Psycho Wave does 20 damage times the number of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, so if your opponent has 3 energy, it's doing 60 damage for a single energy. Attack's not bad. Definitely do put in some more kind of things like Mega Mewtwo, so it hit for weakness to 120 if it had 3 energy on it. Uh, things like Dark Cry will hit for about 40. It's not a bad card, not a good card, but is there. And then Magical Swap for a second color, free range of damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. I definitely like this for things like it's like Tauros. So let's say you have a bunch of damage on their bench and they have a damage Tauros out, and you don't don't want to get knocked out by Mad Bull GX. Just to drop this down with a Psychic and a Colorless and rearrange damage counters on your opponent's board. Definitely screw with them. Interesting card. I like interesting cards. And then down here we have some uh, best of X and Y stuff. Uh, but we it looks like we will be getting a reprint though of Escape Rope and Sun and Moon. So that's nice. Probably not getting via Seeker. I hope we get double Dragon Energy just because Dragons never really don't, otherwise they won't have anything. Uh, we got some high quality images of Tapu Fini and Dark Cry GX. We've talked about these guys before. These are just more better looking images where we get to see the whole card. And then we have. Oh, and then we have some photos of the Mega Sharpedo and Mega Camera Up boxes. Uh, can I pull this up here? So here you go. Looks like you get one, two, three, four, five, six packs, a pin, jumble card, and a coin. Oh, so I have to buy this. Ugh. That's what sucks about. Oh, but so does Lone Asian because he collects coins and I just won't give it to him. <laughs> but then he, can, he won't give me the pin. Maybe he can buy one, I can buy the other one. I can give me the pin, I can give him the coins. I like pins, he likes coins. All right, guys. So that's been, that's it for unpacked. Today's question is: Is Mega Camera up or Mega Sharpedo? Which one do you guys think is better? Let me know in the comments. Enter to win your TCGO codes. Till then, guys, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Until then, have a great day. Peace out. If they release the best X and Y set here as its own standalone set, it would be its own set symbol, which would therefore mean it would be come out as its own set here in the U.S.